Hello beautiful people, welcome to Maryland. I'm Meryl and today we're talking skin. The largest organ in your body. One thing that seems to be really difficult for a lot of people, especially teenagers and even some adults, is clear skin. It seems like an enigma, it seems super hard. I wanted to share my experience of my journey to clear skin um, and I wasn't always the girl with clear skin. In fact, in high school um, I had trouble with my skin and I was always going to dermatologists. I found clear skin through many different ways and I wanted to share with you what worked best and um, you know help you achieve clear skin. So the funny story is is that Basically, in college, I had clear skin. With that being said, I started using Retin-A Micro again, just for, you know, um, aging skin, even though I'm not that old, but I just decided, like, I like taking care of my skin, so I thought I would start now. And I started that about a year and a half ago. I started using retinoids um, on my skin, and oh my god. I did not know what was happening. I had the worst skin I've had since I was in high school and maybe worse. Like I would just get these really bad, deep, painful pimples and they weren't all over my face but it was enough to feel really embarrassed and like I am now 26 and to be having acne at 26 and I own a skincare body care company that was like a total disconnect and like that could not be happening what the heck like I should not be breaking out at this age so what I will say is I had a rocky road to try to fight my way back to clear skin but I can thankfully say that literally within the past month I have made it there so yeah so I'm gonna show you the tips and tricks that I found that have been the most effective and the most helpful for me to get clear skin again. So I hope you check these out and I hope they work for you and stay tuned and I will show you my tricks. So the first tip is to feed your skin. It's so important to eat foods that are going to nourish your skin and give them the nutrients they need because it is the largest organ in your body. And walnuts have really good um, fats to keep your skin moisturized as well as cherries are just really delicious. Um, and I use a handful of both cherries and walnuts just for some good protein too. The marmalade from Sarah Beth's is so delicious to use just instead of like a honey or something like that. Um, just really good flavor and I love the orange peels in it. And here's the big one, the ground flaxseed. It has to be ground because it's easier to absorb the nutrients. And I just use a lot because I don't really notice the taste. Um, it doesn't really taste too distinct to me, in fact. Um, and you know, you can just start with a little and move on to more. And it is so good. Yum. Next, you know you need to hydrate. Um, it's so important to hydrate because you need to get the toxins out of your body with the water instead of coming out through your skin via breakouts. Green juice is also really good for your skin and seems to help clear up my skin a lot. Of course, you need to make sure that you get all the makeup off of your face, especially if you wear foundation. And cream cleansers are really nice and gentle, but I find that they don't take the makeup off. And that leaves a residue on your skin and can really be bad for your skin, especially if your skin is eating that stuff up. And see, here's the residue, yikes. This is my company, this is Anjali Ayurveda, and this is my Sweet Lime Cardamom Soap, and they are glycerin based, so glycerin actually acts as a humectant, oh and they smell super good, um, but glycerin acts as a humectant and it keeps the moisture in your skin instead of um, drying out. So this is my little beard that I made, and um, yeah, th these soaps just have a lot of oils in them to keep your skin really moisturized, and they are very gentle, and there you go, clear, clean skin and no residue, that's the important part. Here is the residue test, and you can see, okay, we're all clear. So yeah, they leave your skin very clean. 
you need to moisturize, especially after you wash your skin. People are scared of oils, but I love hemp oil. It's the best. It's so green and good, and it's very anti-inflammatory, and it's like my secret weapon. Um, but yeah, oil is your friend because you need to add the moisture that you just took out of your skin. So glycolic acid is something that I really like to use. It's a great, great exfoliator. Um, and it takes off the a little bit of your skin, um, just the first layer or so. You should start out with a little bit, but you can read the instructions on the box. I won't bore you with those details here. It does sting a tiny bit, but it's nothing too bad. And you just wash it off with cool water. But glycolic acid is great because it really makes your skin radiant and dewy and beautiful and glowy. It's much more gentle than going to a spa or getting a treatment because this is just a smaller dosage. And this cool towel feels really good. And just pat the skin dry and voila, you're done. Hey guys, thanks for watching. I hope those tricks and tips were helpful for you to be on your way to getting clearer skin. Um, now please also know that like this does not substitute the advice of a doctor by any means so you know always consult a doctor before like trying anything drastic just as a general rule for your life um, but I hope that worked for you and please like this video give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button if you're not already a subscriber and share these tips with somebody you know if you have a friend who's maybe suffering with um, you know trouble skin right now maybe give this to them I mean be nice about it <laughs> so I will see you later oh I, I almost forgot oh my god okay you guys so I had this really cool idea that I came up with this past week which is that I wanted to do a giveaway to my subscribers so I had an idea to give away a $20 Starbucks gift card to any Starbucks location that you choose. And so I have a $20 Starbucks gift card that I am giving away. And the way you are eligible for my giveaway is if you are A, a subscriber, you have to be a subscriber in order to be eligible. B, you have to follow me on Twitter. My Twitter handle is at Meryl, M-E-R-Y-L underscore land. Super easy, I'll link it below. It's all over everywhere, I've told you about it before. But, um, and then C, number three, is um, you need to follow me on Instagram too. So it's at welcome to Maryland. I'll link it below. Don't even worry about it. You don't even have to use a pen and pencil. Just copy and paste. Um, so yeah, so just those three things to be eligible for my gift card. And that's it. It's super simple. And you'll be one step closer to having all your lattes and chais and frappuccinos and cappuccinos and all the enos and chinos and tinos. Ugh, I think I need a coffee now after all that talking. I will be picking the winner by June 15th, so you got a little bit of time to find me in all the places. I got friends in low places. So, thank you so much for watching, and I think that's it, and I will see you next week.